Hello, and welcome to part four of Mass Effect. Last I left off, I ended up in this bar. I, I ended off in this bar. I told this guy to stop stealing fucking corpses, or that what he's doing is a fucking douchebag move. And now I'm off to go back and talk to this poor guy who I have to tell him, yeah, you're not getting your wife back. Whoa. Anyone else see that? Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Hold on. Let me... I need to, like... What the fuck is this? Okay. I need to, like... Where do I go? To... Ah, right, here we go. Accuracy and damage. Grants overkill ability. Purchased rank. I can't put anything into snipers? What am I? I have 14 points? Yo. Give me this. Increases health. Regenerate 3 health per second? Yo. Let's get charm. Let's just max out charm. Put a whole bunch- max out soldier for now. Melee damage? Fuck that. Regenerate three health per second. Yo. I'm gonna put... Boop. 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 Yeah, fuck pistols. Oh wait, is that permanent? Or can I really just go ahead and redistribute? Oh no, that's permanent. <laughs> All right, Ashley. Frontline warriors are trained to withstand the physical punishment that comes in combat. Increases health, allows limited health regeneration. Well, sh she'll use that automatically, right? Hopefully. I always have them on assault rifles. So that's what I'll do. I don't quite know how to... This is probably stupid OP to pair with just leveling up this and this at the same time. He is probably deadly with, with a fucking assault rifle. Interesting. Increases squad healing. I'm gonna get screamed at for not upgrading this, but you know what? I'll do this. I'll do this. That. There we go. I made a. I made his skill tree an E. Yeah, looking good. 
Paragon, Renegade. I'm more Renegade than Paragon? Yo. Alright. Let me go see if I can... If I can come up here and convince this guy to fucking give the poor man his wife back. You! Hello again, Commander. Can I help you? I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. You're betraying the dead. I want to just get pissed off at this guy, but I don't want to be a renegade. But, like, I want to get pissed off at him, but I don't want to get physical with him like he did last time. I just wanted to tell him, you know, you're a fucking douchebag for doing what you're doing. And he, like, grabbed him by the shirt, and he's like, listen, fucker. Like, no. That's too aggressive. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. I mean... All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Good. Paragon plus eight. I'm going to go tell him, yeah, they burned your wife. They fucking jettisoned her out into space. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. I will return home. It does not home. bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. All right! So... That's taken care of. Mark all this red. Journal. Reporter's requests. Yeah, yeah. You discovered a strange transmission discovering some sort of bionic commune. On the whole, it seems harmless, but something about the message is a little disturbing. All right. I want to go to the CSEC Academy. Where is the CSEC Academy? CSEC Academy! <laughs> I gotta do it like a mall. You know, is this to the CSEC Academy? To CSEC Academy. This elevator leads down to CSEC Academy. The Alliance Docking Bay can be found there. CSEC Academy. I wonder if this is the CSEC Academy. In the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Yo, look at all these fuckers here. Damn, bro, I found your twin. Damn, bro, I found your other twin. Wow, I, I guess these guys are fucking popular. Rex. You, human. Holy shit. You're the one they call Shepard. Your voice makes pants wet. You're the one they call Shepard? Yeah. That's me, Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. I was told at work that if you have this guy on your team and you go and encounter Fist, this guy will just straight kill him. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. 
don't like where this is going. And you were alone, I bitch. This job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. You're going to pay me for getting rid of Fist? I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You're a bounty hunter. I think I'm gonna take this guy, like, in my squad. I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. Those aren't Krogan. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Uh, I'm not gonna add him to my squad yet. I'm trying to get with this one, and I don't know if I need if I need her in my squad, like kind of like Fallout to build a relationship, or if I could just go and talk to her in the uh, uh, uh Normandy, because I know all of these characters will chill in the Normandy once once you accept them into your thing. So, for now, I'm going to keep her with me. I'm going to keep the same squad. This fucking guy. I'm going to keep her in my squad for now. And then I'll have to ask some informants later if... If it's like Fallout, where you have to have them with you to build the relationship. All right, so I've added him. <clears throat> Rex. Oh, there's a keeper. Boink. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Show me what you've Excellent. got. I hope you find what you're looking for. Alright, let's look. Apparently you got a fuck ton of money from doing quests. Or from doing missions. So far, my money hasn't moved since, you know, I completed two fucking quests. Labs license. What is this? I don't understand what this is. A grenade upgrade. Increases maximum number of grenades by one. I don't care. Sorry, man. I don't give a fuck about fucking anything you have. C-Sec seems more like a military operation than a police force. <clears throat> Fucking rubbing my eyes over here. Is this an elevator? Oh, it is. <laughs> they haul some ass to catch up to you. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. The business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the... Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. 
Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Okay. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Interesting. Ben the plot thickens. Well, good luck. I don't remember. Did he ever mention having a partner? I think he did. Hello, Commander. He's not gonna fucking kill him. There's no way he'll fucking kill someone. Move. Probably not the best I did to draw my fucking weapons in the middle of a citadel security. The details are a bit vague. <laughs> Alright, well. Time to look for him. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Interesting. All right, where the fuck was that guy? <clears throat> Store point of interest. I don't remember where that guy was. I should probably start like using these. That's somebody's car that I just tried to steal. Citadel Tower and Wards. Creating a public disturbance. It's against the <laughs> Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Oh. Do What's you up, Natch? Do you of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? 
Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're pathetic. Arrest it! <laughs> What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. I'm... The That's Citadel is too important fair. to be a battleground for a religious war. That is very fair. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the okay, license. Okay, so the purpose of the license is to make it legal for them to preach somewhere where no one will give a shit. That's kind of what I've heard about the right to, to protest. Because you're supposed to legally, like, talk to your government or some shit, your local government, and, like, set up a time and a place that is acceptable to protest. But the thing is, they'll put you somewhere where fucking nobody's gonna pay attention. Or at least that's what I assume would happen. Like, the purpose of a protest is to, like, get your point across. To the government, usually. But, like, you're not going to get your point across to the government if they're going to tell you to fucking protest somewhere where they don't pay attention. Uh... I'm not going to suggest that. Uh... If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly... Can I just pull out my gun and shoot it? Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. <laughs> Fuck it, here. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Is he going to give me 150 me, credits? Or to my superiors. Medi-Gel Journal. Oh, put the guns away. <laughs> Mark all is red. Put your fucking guns away. I'm just an idiot who pulls out mine randomly. Ooh. I think I came from your direction. Oh, no, I didn't. Boink. Ah, oh, fuck off. No oh, Commander Shepard. I do already know. Actually, never mind.
This place is very pretty. I'll give it that. You're not who I want to talk to. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. <laughs> who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. This thing speaks as if it has a hive mind. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Oh, fuck you. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Okay. I guess that's fair. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. He just has like oh, this a one stick is of bubblegum. So human, you will not be disappointed. Whoa! Grenade upgrade, weapon upgrade, stimulate pack. Wow! A whole bunch of shit I can't fucking afford. Ah, boop. Currently, uh, scanning those fucking keepers is my only source of income right now. Do I have my gun out? Oh my god, you totally run like you have a gun out. He runs like he's holding a gun. <laughs> Where the fuck is the entrance to the Citadel? Great, now, now my videos are just gonna be me being fucking lost because I'm an idiot. Irritating to the ward, Seasuck Academy, Citadel Tower. Fucking annoying. <laughs> to the embassies, Citadel Tower, and wards. Where is Citadel Tower? It doesn't help that there isn't literally a fucking tower. Oh, there he is! There he is, you know, preaching his shit. I doubt this is where I'm supposed to be fucking going. Let me just run my 10 feet that I'm capable of running. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. <laughs> That's funny. They're like, oh, you. I'm gonna fund all of your shit so that you can try to make us fuck again. So, how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy. And then when they fail, you're just like, oh, I'm gonna sue you because your fucking shit was worthless. I thought they were talking to him. Boink. So, guys, oh. any regrets about leaving CSEC? 
Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat c -Sec. True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trusted to somebody else. Having PS5 loading times is so fucking great. I'm back here? Oh, I'm so lost. Where the fuck am I? I'm about to shoot someone. This is a dead end, isn't it? Oh my god, Citadel Rapid Transit, get me the fuck out of here. Citadel Tower. I should have just fucking done this from the start. Here we are, Citadel Tower. It's time to look for that fucking guy. I bet he's up here scanning this fucking keeper. Come on. No! The Whatever. Eden Prime was a major victory. I just saw it press X and I pressed X. Looks like we're doing this. Finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before? I will bring you a Reaper skeleton, you fucker. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself.
Oh, they all gotta. They all gotta task. They all gotta put step their forward. Scrabble tiles in. Oh shit! Step forward. Can't step forward anymore though, cause I'll just fucking fall. Yeah, I took one step. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. So what the fuck am I, a tool or a guardian? This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. <laughs> About time. What's my first mission? I would love to do an the asshole playthrough of this game. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate. All right, can I use money? Can I get money? Any idea where to find it? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the council is adjourned. She said, "All right, you're a specter. Get the fuck out of my face." Congratulations, Commander. Bow, motherfucker. You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. I have a ship, I have a crew, and I have supplies. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Okay, so I'm not out of here yet. I'll need your help to set all this up. You're talking to him like you're about to start running. I expected your ambassador to be more grateful. He didn't even thank you. No He's got deal. a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. Spectre training. Elite agents of the council have access to special training. Increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers? This is literally just an upgrade that upgrades everything. For the cost of one. Yo, I'm gonna put like two points into that already. That increases my health by one each time. Fuck it. Dump all my points into it. Yoink. Since it increases fucking everything, why not? I wonder if the AI will... Speak differently to me now. The AI that keeps telling me not to fucking talk to the speaker. Congratulations or... on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Who the fuck are you? Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I pressed I square. I out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find. I didn't even press X. I pressed channels. square accidentally. Oh my breath, though. Okay. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. Cool. Ooh, a keeper. Boop. Yeah, I'm a fucking specter. All you assholes, turn the fuck around. And pretend you didn't see that. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. I wonder if that means I can go to specific places of the, uh, Citadel Tower now. All I know is I'm looking for this fucking guy. And he is not here. Okay. Wait. Unless he's just not highlighted by a fucking 
the thing on the map, which would be really irritating. People I could talk to should at least show up as blue dots on the radar, like how my two squad mates are. Goroth? Who the fuck is Goroth? Get Garoth. I'm on a Who the break. fuck are you? Oh my god, you look like you're straight out of New Vegas. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. The top of his head is a totally different color than the rest of his fucking face. Oh, that's a shadow. Never mind. What is this a fucking reflection of? Oh, that's actually a proper reflection, kinda. Maybe? What does the roof look like? Never mind. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Interesting. This thing. Will you will you talk to me? Please do not disturb the Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. For your convenience, this terminal is programmed with information on the tower, the relay monument, and the keepers. That's all for now. Okay. Thank you for using Avena. Barely. Have a pleasant day. Ooh, did I get that one yet? Boo 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 boo. I can barely hear that fucking guy. To the wards. I'm almost out of time. I only got like two minutes left. There's a lot of places I gotta get to, and I don't remember... The point- these points of interests are- Oh wait, if I hover over it, it tells me what it is. Avena, Avena, that's Avena. I wanna get back over here. Good guy isn't in here. I want to talk to this thing. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. 
Who's this Asari consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatura, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Oh, man. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Okay. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Good day. Alright, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Uh, I can put it on this one. Boop. Tomorrow, I shall do another one. It's getting interesting. I actually don't think I mind just having videos of me, like, talking to people. Anyway, have a nice day.